Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Trump and Trump asking Biden for an additional debate, as long as there are some format changes. And we're going to talk about why he might be making that request. And we're going to talk about a rhetorical technique. Okay, so... Trump basically said, hey, I want another debate with Biden, but not like last time. It's just me and him. So it certainly appeared that he didn't want, like, moderation. Just two people talking, no holds barred, a discussion about our country, Sunday, 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 and all that stuff. Um, that's weird, isn't it? I mean, when you really think about it. Um, given the outcome of the last debate... Why would Trump want to change the format? I mean, if you, if you win, why would you want to change the format? Unless, of course, you think that there was some extenuating circumstance to why you won. I mean, that might be a reason. Now... The other thing is the shift that he is proposing, this no-holds-barred, no-moderation style of event. It plays directly into the rhetorical technique that he uses. He uses what is called a gish gallop. Okay? It is a technique that was, as I understand it, named for a creationist who used to try to debate against evolution. A gish gallop is where you put out a large quantity of arguments, of claims, very, very quickly, with like zero regard for whether or not those arguments are strong or the claims are even accurate. Does that sound familiar? It's what Trump does. It's actually hard to uh, counter if you're debating in good faith, because you can't address each claim fully in the time allotted. So it is, it's frustrating if you're on the receiving end of it. Generally, the accepted way of countering that kind of uh, technique is to first preempt it to call it out ahead of time. As soon as it starts, look at the camera, look at the audience, and be like, this is a gish gallop. You should Google it. And if people do, they're going to find out that the technique that is being used is... It is uh, something that is effective on people who are easily swayed. People who do not weigh the strength or accuracy of the arguments. In other words, if somebody is using this technique, generally speaking, they don't believe they don't believe the people that are that they're trying to reach are incredibly bright. So, you preempt it, you call it out, you let people become aware of this technique and what what's happening. And then you pick one doesn't matter which one, because generally speaking, when people are doing this, the arguments are not strong. So just pick one and respond to that fully. Hammer it into the ground. And then close with, if I had more time, I'd do the same thing to all of the other things that he said. Um, now, generally, I think people uh, advise picking what gets described as, quote, the dumbest one. Um, I don't know that that really matters, but it is interesting to me that not just does Trump not feel comfortable with another debate using the format from before, the one that, I mean, he came out on top in when you look at perception, but he also wants it shifted to something that gives him an edge, that lets him use his preferred rhetorical technique. 
I mean, that doesn't really seem... That doesn't seem to be the move of somebody who is incredibly confident in their position. Just saying. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.